Hey YouTube, this is Dean making another vid. If you like my content, please consider hitting the like button. Also, please consider subscribing as it is very much appreciated. What I wanted to do today is show how I make my slow match lamp wicks. I've made one now and I just finished making it up. Um, and I'll go through the process. I won't show exactly, I won't show it drying and all that because that's a boring video. But I'll, I'll tell you exactly how I do it and describe what I've done and then show you what happens after I've done it and I'll prepare it and make one up completely and then you'll see see how it goes. I buy these lamp wicks from off eBay. The bloke I buy them off currently doesn't have any more because I think I bought him out. I bought 30 of them. So they're about a dollar fifty a roll so they are one meter long 100% cotton lamp wicks they're for they're the flat ones they're for um little oil lamps anyway they're a meter long and yeah flat cotton the bloke who I was getting them off had 97% feedback rating and I never had a problem with them. I bought a heap of them. I've, I've got a heap here and I bought, as I said, I bought these six and then I've got another 30 of them coming. So I never wanted to run out of them. Anyway, I um, now treat them with potassium nitrate and that makes them a lot better. They work okay without it, but once you, once you treat them with potassium nitrate, I found they take a spark even better and they smolder a lot better. So what you do, get your potassium nitrate, which is stump remover, and hot water. That's boiling water. I use one cup of hot water and one teaspoon of my potassium nitrate. Pour that in there and then I put one of these in there using this because you don't want to get this it's it's not so much poisonous but you don't really want it on your hands. You just you make you make sure it's all dissolved in there. I'll do one up now. Just make sure it's all dissolved. Now I use one cup per one for hot water, a boiling water, to one teaspoon of potassium nitrate. Just make sure it's dissolved. Get your lamp wicks. Now I leave these soak for around 15 minutes. Just make sure they all go in there. Just all has to go in. All down the bottom. Just to make sure it all gets nice and soaked. And the idea is, you don't want it too hot. What I mean by that is, you don't want too much potassium nitrate into it, because what will happen is, it'll splutter. 
once you get a spark into it, it'll splutter and it'll burn too fast. What you have to do is find that quite, that even balance of it burning evenly, but without spluttering. And I found one cup to one teaspoon to be about perfect. And you did just leave that there for 15 minutes. Now this one, I did exactly that. This one, after 15 minutes of it soaking, I took it out, put it on my clothesline, let it dry out. And that one is perfectly dry now. And you've got to wait until it's all completely dried out. And then all I do is roll it back up. Now some people will be asking where I got that stump remover from. And I bought it off eBay. Other people will be saying about buying potassium nitrate. Well, you can get it. As long as you are not being stupid about making stuff you shouldn't be making which I am not, and I don't advocate making anything silly with it. I won't go into what you can make with it. Um, all I'm doing using it for is making slow matches, treating this stuff, and that's it that's all I and I have do have several stumps in my yard to remove too so I have legitimate reasons why I need to have it so that's all I'll say on the subject um, I do have legitimate reasons to have it so it's perfectly legal for me to own that stuff and there's no problem with owning it as far as that goes also have I've got a gun license so I can go and buy black powder and gun powder all that sort of thing anyway so anyway I won't go on any further than that I just put a little bit of leather around there just to hold it all together then trim that off Then I use a 308 casing, cut off. You just fold it up. Now I always put it down the bottom like that. So down the mouth here. So down that that the skinnier end here and then you just roll it around until it comes out the other end and you just pull it through then to prepare it you just get a lighter And you'll see, because of the potassium nitrate treating, it starts smouldering really well. Now that'll just keep burning away. What I do is let it go down a little bit further. Just to get a little bit more char on that end there a bit. 
sometimes you just got to keep pushing that stuff back down too because it comes sometimes floats up the top so you want to make sure it gets down in the bottom once it's charred down a fair bit pull it into the snuffer put it over snuff it out make sure it is out leave it for a while and you blow on it just to make sure it's all, all out which it is all right then you got to test it to see proof of concept No dramas. That's my sm uh, my slow match. Treated with potassium nitrate. And that'll just keep smouldering away. See how it's not spluttering or anything like that? Because I've, 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 I've worked it out. I haven't got it too hot. And then you just make sure you yeah, pull it, I didn't pull it down far enough pull it down a little bit further you just cut the oxygen off make sure it's all out which it is one more demonstration just to make sure that I did See how easy it takes a spark. No dramas. And they it, it takes a spark so easy now. And it will just keep smouldering away like that. No dramas whatsoever because it's been treated with the potassium nitrate. But I just wanted to make wanted to show you how I make my slow matches now. I won't link any of this stuff. You have to find it for yourself. But I did buy all of this stuff off eBay. Um, and it's easy to find. The potassium nitrate's just stump remover. Um, yeah, just look up that and you'll find it. Um, these cotton matches are from China. The, the, bloke, I, the bloke I've been getting off doesn't have any more at the moment so um yeah there are other cotton 100% cotton um now I have been putting them in the, I, I bought this little plastic bag out but I have been putting them in nice little drawstring bags and that's a beautiful little little slow match that I make up um, there are other other 100% cotton lamp wicks on eBay that are still reasonably priced so yeah just search around for the flat cotton lamp wicks they're about a dollar fifty to two dollars a meter so yeah that's the ones I'd be going for because um, they are cheap, they do come from China usually takes about a month and a half, two months to get to you, so which yeah, it's not, it does take a while to come over, but yeah just um, yeah, buy them like that um, yeah, grab all the other stuff that's easily available, you just have to yeah, just be sensible about why you're buying it, and um, obviously if you've got stumps in your yard that you need removing or whatever, yeah, that's good. Um, if you're into black powder and into um, cannons, they you need to be able to make slow matches for that. It's uh, yeah, that's a very viable reason for having that as well, which um, is a perfectly legitimate reason 
for it. There are legitimate reasons for owning this stuff. So you, you, you're not going to get in trouble for it if you, if you um, have legitimate reasons for having it. So yeah, and, but yeah, just just be aware that it um yeah it it it, it, it there are things around it that that can can lead to some trouble if you do the wrong thing with it and I do not advocate doing the wrong thing with it but yeah just just be sensible about it and yeah don't do anything silly about it and that's what I'm that's this is why I'm doing it I'm, I make my slow matches out of it and that's all I ever will ever do with it I'm, 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 I have no reason to do anything else with it but yeah, I just wanted to show you what I do and make my slow matches. And that's how I do it. That's, yeah, one cup of water to one teaspoon of potassium nitrate. Soak it for 15 minutes. Put it out to dry. Dry it out completely. Then, as you see, prepare it. And then, yeah, cut off brass, uh, cut off 308 case or shell casing. doesn't matter what calibre um, case. And, um... As a snuffer, and yeah, they work brilliantly. It works really well. Um, it's a really good concept, really viable op option. Other than for other than um, compared to char cloth, it's a lot more robust compared to char cloth. It does take a little bit more room up, but um, it may work. In some instances, like in inclement weather and that sort of thing, I find um, it doesn't break up like char cloth does. So, yeah, I, I, I really like this concept a lot. It's um, it's a really good concept. So, yeah, but I, I think some people would be interested in what how I made it, and I wanted to make this video about it and how I did it, and yeah, I have done now. Anyway, thanks for watching.